Hi Capricorn friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your October 2017 monthly love reading. I'm going to do it different than I did last month. I've been asking a couple of the signs to you know, leave their comments on whether you liked it the way I did it last month with Oracle of the Mermaids or if you like it the way I'm going to do it this month. Um, not too many of you have said too much about last month's monthlies. Um, but you guys, the, just the signs that, you know, I have a huge following, I have a big clientele with, are the ones that I'm mentioning it to. So you guys are in that category. So please, I would love for you guys to leave your comments on which way you would like to see me do it. Okay, a couple of Romance Angel cards. Capricorn. If it does not resonate, you could look at your Venus sign, which I do have a link to a free birth chart linked below. I keep dropping these cards for you. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualiza visualizations help bring you together. Can't speak today. This could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. Very nice. I need to move these over. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay. I'm going to pull some tarot cards. I'm going to use the Witch's Tarot. And those of you that, you know, that would like a private reading with me, would like to connect on Facebook, Instagram, even that free birth chart right underneath the video, you can find the links to all of that. Facebook. Um, I do free readings, contests for free readings, big readings, 14 card reading. Instagram, I do draw and upload a daily oracle card every single day just for Instagram. So I would love for you guys to follow me there. We have the Five of Wands, the Hierophant, the Page of Cups, I'm calling in your soulmate. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Page of Pentacles, this could be the one, King of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, an attraction, strength, Ugh. nine of swords, wow, oh, nice, and the Ace of Cups. All right, let's work with what we got here. Okay, so on passion, the Five of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Page of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, or maybe a water sign. 
Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Maybe a Taurus. But it feels like someone, like this is someone wanting to come out, to come out of, they, they want to come out of conflict. You know, you could have had, you know, a petty argument, you know, disputes, just not maybe seeing eye to eye. And in a way, and in a way showed that they really do care, you know, that they have, they have love for you and they want, and they want to show you that, that they, that they love you. In some higher form of commitment and expressing, and expressing that, you know, they're coming out of conflict with expressing how they really feel about you. And the Page of Cups, I'm feeling, you know, as, I mean, this is a tidal wave of emotion in this deck, in this card. This is very, very emotional. You know, the Page of Cups is, this, you know, a proposal. There could be communication, honestly, about getting married or taking things to a higher level of commitment. Calling in your soulmate, the Three of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. You know, this is all about manifesting. You know, what it is that you truly want. You know, you, what you see for yourself. With the Three of Pentacles, it's about what makes you comfortable and safe. But also makes you feel on top of the world. You know, because the Three of Pentacles is about being the star. Really. You know, being the focus, and I, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It's you know, being very important. Some of you are wanting a marriage or a union with this person because you feel like you could have absolutely everything with them. This could be the one. King of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Some of you, I think, are you know definitely could be dealing with the water sign. Do have some water energy here. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You know, this is about expressing their love, making someone who is not single, who is single, not single anymore. And there's there's that there's a lot of giving. You know, with attraction, strength, the Nine of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. You know, this is someone that is stuck in their head because like, it, there is like a battle of the heart and mind. I feel like they honestly cannot stop thinking about you. This person is very attracted to you. They could be watching you as well. Um, you know, they could be watching you. And, and you don't even know that they're doing that. But it's making them... How do I want to say this? Like you're doing things that they don't even know that you're doing and it's making them want to work towards this even though they feel trapped in, in their head at times. They're still wanting to offer you this love. Let's see what else we get. I'm just going to clarify here. Let me move these up.
You know, sometimes I could see the Nine of Swords as like that nervous excitement, you know, so excited over this new beginning, thinking about someone that you just can't sleep. We have the Four of Swords, the Ace of Wands, I'm calling in your soulmate, the Eight of Cups on this could be the One, and the King of Wands on Attraction. All right, so the Four of Swords, I feel like someone was distancing, distancing themselves in the past or currently you're not communicating or you haven't seen this person with the ace of wands you know this is wanting a passionate creative new beginning expressing it and acting on it someone will do that someone will act on how they feel with the eight of cups someone is walking away from something that was no longer emotionally serving them no, Capricorn, if it's not you, it's the person that you're thinking about, involved with. And if I didn't mention, no, this is this is you know, the past. So coming into the month, you know, the present and then, well, the middle of the month and then the end of the month. Um, you know, the King of Wands, I feel like, you know, this is this is following your passions. On passions, the six of swords. I'm calling in your soulmate, the ten of wands. This could be the one, the two of wands. Attraction, the star. Okay. Someone is definitely really in love with you. And I think they're leaving conflict behind. Laying down all of all of their, or you, laying down all of your burdens. And I feel like someone wants to come in and help you lay those burdens down. This person could be someone, could be, could be, this person could be someone that you or someone else is, is one of you is going after what it is that you that you truly want and love. And with the star, it, you're just being divinely guided by you know, your spirit guides, your angels. This is wish fulfillment, but definitely being divinely guided. One more time. Five of Cups on Passions. Calling in your soulmate, the Two of Pentacles. I feel like there's a big change for you guys, a big shift. The Five of Pentacles on, um, this could be the one. I just literally said this. Listen, that's not negative, guys. Whoever is stuck in the past... It probably has to do with some regrets, disappointment. You know, now they're weighing their options. Someone has or is definitely making a decision. And I feel like, you know, with the, with the Five of Pentacles, this is, you know, wanting to take someone out of this lacking energy, wanting to take care of them and provide for them. And then with the tower, I feel like this is going to be something that absolutely just happens very, very, very suddenly. Totally out of the blue. Very nice. So you could be dealing with a water sign, a Taurus.
Maybe another, maybe a Scorpio Cancer Pisces. So a Scorpio, Cancer or Pisces, Taurus. Maybe a fire sign, but eh, not really feeling it for the for the fire for the air sign. Okay. Whispers of love, additional guidance card. These are by Angela Hartfield. Capricorn. Okay, that one's gonna be it. True love. This love is a once in a lifetime love. It is, I just said this, it is spiritually guided. It is meant to be. It is a love that will absolutely withstand the test of time. It's 50 50 and almost perfect. Capricorn, beautiful. Beautiful. And it is true love. This person really does want to take care of you. It, it's beautiful. Nice. Good luck. Leave your comments, please. Let me know if you guys like it this way or the way I did it last month. Um, beautiful reading, though, guys. Yay. Happy for you guys. Me too. I'm Capricorn. Not sun, but I have a lot of Capricorn in my chart. Moon, rising. All right, guys. Take care. I will see you guys back here shortly. Bye-bye.